is actually a, a portable edit unit with a lens. It's, it's a computer with a lens up front. Now the advantage of that is that instead of going from, from lens to tape and then from tape to disc, then most programs are edited on nonlinear systems anyway. They have to transfer the, uh, the tape to the disc. In this case, the recording moment is also the digitizing moment. So it goes directly from the lens to the hard disk, which is on this side. Of course, in the news, it's obvious. It's fast. You, you either edit directly, because the, 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 the editor is on board here. This is a production switcher. This is the editor. So it has a lens camera. It has a production switcher. It has an editor. And you can switch between source, three sources. It has two outputs, so you could think of actually a carry-on obive. In the case of documentaries and long-form work, the director and the cameraman or the editor are, uh, uh, have the possibility of editing a rough cut or maybe a sketch of what they do. This camera's digital pack is therefore replaced tape. By placing this pack in the Avid editing machine, all shots are immediately displayed. The work can begin. Like other manufacturers, Avid no longer supplies just equipment. They sell complete television stations. The inevitability of digitalization is forcing them to incorporate it into all stages of production. So Avenues, Avenues is, um, is, in, is in fact the evolution of the, the present basis system. Uh, the, the present basis system is, uh, is a system that just controls the text and gives the possibility to the journalists to, uh, to get the wires and, uh, and uh, write the text. Avenues is uh, the capability for the journalists to handle uh, video, audio, graphics and so on on his desk. So it's really the multimedia for the journalist.